Ever since the first black American appeared on screen, there has always been many representations portrayed by the media, TV and films. Over the years, the representation of a black American have in some ways changed, but we still see classic racist stereotypes still being shown. The media is one of the most influential tools in our society. It can control the way we think and the way we see things in the world. It is the reason why so many subcultures and stereotypes exist. My idea is to create a short documentary style video discussing on the topic the media representations of black Americans have evolved but in some ways have still stayed the same and how they still influence the way we view black Americans. To find out what the general public thought about my idea I created some primary research using questionnaires and also video interviews with random people. The results I found were very interesting. There are so many black Americans in the media, yet out of the 20 people who completed my questionnaires, only 35% of people could name five black Americans in the media. And with one of those questions being, do you think black Americans are represented positively or negatively on social media sites, absolutely no one who completed the uh, questionnaire said that they were represented positively. 25% of people said that black Americans were represented negatively in social media sites and the rest of them said that they were presented or represented in a positive and negative light. My documentary aims to explore why our culture hasn't 100% moved forward and how black Americans still aren't represented as equal to white Americans. It feels sad to know that equality isn't something that exists without questioning. The fact that some people actually feel like they're better than a particular culture or race or gender. The truth is we are coming closer and closer to equality for black slash African Americans and they've come a long way since slavery was abolished in 1865. But in some ways, they haven't come far enough. And a lot of people who are black feel like they have to buy harsh chemical filled products just to make themselves more white. Almost as if they are tapping into the old tragic mulatta stereotype. Even use, they even use weaves that are sewn into their skin to imitate their black celebrity idols. To find out this, and loads more through re reading through interesting articles and watching a lot of video clips online I really feel like this topic is so relevant to contemporary society and the subject and we need to get this subject across to help change people's minds and let them see that some of these stereotypes that are coming from the media and are commonly heard and are seen as like normal such as the n-word which is somehow became this normal word used day to day by many people as a joke in a lot of vines and pop songs and all that. Who would be my target audience? Now from my primary research I've come to the conclusion that my target audience is typically going to be male and females in their late teens, early adults. I feel like this age group would be most influenced by the documentary. Quite a few of the people who completed my research uh, questionnaire and the interviews were early adults, um, late teens, etc. I also feel like my the class of my target audience would typically be a higher middle class because they have a larger attention span like typically to the lower class. This is because when reading articles on the Sun newspaper which is aimed at the lower class you can see that the actual article is a lot shorter and there's a lot snappier points whereas my documentary aims to sort of go above typical representations and sort of explore a different aspect of stereotypes and what sort of black Americans are sort of typically represented as so the low, lower class wouldn't really appreciate and really understand and maybe even acknowledge the documentary and probably turn off halfway through or 10 minutes in and I really want my audience to understand that black Americans aren't treated equally 
to the rest of society. And I really think that even though equality is supposed to be a thing that exists, there is still a lot of prejudice and people who look down on different groups and I want that to be completely changed and I want my documentary to open people's eyes to the fact that this isn't right. Now, where would I aim to advertise and um, air my documentary? What channel? Now, first of all, from going through the NRS, yeah, yeah, the NRS, I believe that the Telegraph, because it's typically aimed at the higher middle class, I feel like this would be the best um, place to advertise my documentary on. The Telegraph has a good market share of 2.2%. 989,000 people in upper middle class read this newspaper compared to 175,000 of the lower class. So it's got a massive margin of people that are higher class that read the Telegraph compared to the lower class. And the average sort of gender is male and female. In fact, I think it's 583,000 females and 582,000 males, so it's quite accurate. And I want my documentary to be aimed at both male and female because it's not sort of like... It shouldn't really be um, aimed at one gender because it would completely ruin the whole purpose of the, um, the documentary being about equality and that. Now, for where I want to air my documentary, I did want to air it on BBC3 because I've seen that quite a few documentaries and unusual things that you typically seen on BBC3, like Reggie Yates' Extreme UK, which explores different aspects of, um, you know, society and things like that. And it was a really interesting series of documentaries, and that was aired on BBC3. And I'm trying to go for a similar approach to that. But, unfortunately with BBC3, the channel has gone all online, so there's no TV channel, and that's a shame really, because I want to go for, an, for a, um, a TV channel. So I've decided to go for Channel 4, because looking at Channel 4 on, um, on Barb, on the website that sort of reviews all statistics of the channels, I've came across that Channel 4 has quite a lot of um, popular documentaries that are, are seen by thousands of people so for example the the series the documentary series dispatches which discusses a wide variety of topics and got quite a lot of views that had um last week 1.36 million views and um paul merton's secret station another documentary style video and um also gogglebox which is typical well, that that would be also be classed as a documentary style video that is the top of Channel 4's um, viewership, or that is the, that's got the highest views on all the Channel 4's programmes that have been aired last week. So I feel like, because Channel 4's typically got a lot of documentaries, this would fit right in, um, and it, it should get a lot of views if it goes onto Channel 4. What is my budget for this documentary? Now, to save costs on my documentary, because it's about black Americans and obviously this is where well, I'm British um, I'm going to keep things sort of um, still in England and can sort of construct interviews and that all online using sort of Skype and video calls and things like that so um, that will save a lot of costs for say flying the crew out to America booking hotels things like that so that that is one way I was trying to save the cost um, also getting statements from famous black celebrities and famous white American celebrities like that will also sort of cut the cost because I've still got their say in my interview and because my interview is not because my documentary is not that long it should um you know it shouldn't be in it shouldn't be necessary to actually fly everyone all the way over to America so I've just decided to do quotes statements video interviews things like that off popular um, celebrities, obviously booking them, but um, you know, trying to find them if they've got free time, speaking to their agents, you know, this and that. Um, <clears throat> All together, though, my production is estimated around two thousand nine hundred pounds, which have included all the high quality equipment that I'm planning on getting and professional sound equipment. Um, it's very low cost in documentary for something that could be such a massive influence on viewers and the general public it could change their opinions if they watch this documentary 
and I have every faith that this documentary will be successful because I'm hoping to like open people's minds and explore modern day opinions and stereotypes and the effects it has on a black American community. Black Americans no doubt are closer to equality than they were 50 years ago but why the need for a slow movement? We want equality now.